do you do you want to see more healthy food like in your neighborhood and I mean, yeah like the fact of the matter is like neighborhoods get good food when richer people start to move in and when rich people start to move in then the poor people start to move out so at that point it's not even benefiting the poor people the, the reason why I wanted to document the differences in uh, food access uh, between rich and poor neighborhoods is because people shouldn't be deprived of healthy food options due to their socioeconomic status. This is a whole food store that's in a predominantly wealthy neighborhood and most of the f options for their food are actually organic. I just realized that they actually label it. Like they're actually letting people know what's organic and what's conventionally out loud. Three and four is conventionally grown, number eight is GMO, and number nine is organic. Any fruit I pick up is gonna be organic. There's so much more organic. They, they get a choice, like their food is literally labeled whether you want conventionally or organic. I'm sure when we check out um, neighbor, neighborhoods in the Bronx and stuff, that's not gonna be an option. And I just wanted to highlight that. Organic. We don't really have that in our neighborhood. We have to travel far, you know? They don't really care for like the lower class. So they're like, just give them anything. And they tell us to, you know, eat healthy stuff. But it's like, when we look around, there's really nothing healthy in our neighborhoods. I don't have money, um, that much money. As a vegetarian, and I live in the Washington Heights community of town, it's really hard for me. Sometimes I, I go out and I'm trying to eat something and the choices are extremely, extremely limited. There's not nutritious places around.